Hi, I'm Kristen, and today I'm going to show you how to make a ginger simple syrup. And it is simple. All right, so this is what I'm going to do is I'm going to start, I'm going to take one cup of sugar, and I'm just going to put it in a saucepan. And then I'm going to put a cup of water. I'm going to add that to the sugar. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to melt up the sugar in the water. So I'm going to put it on a medium heat and have it kind of dissolve in there. So we're going to stir it in and then while that's, while that's starting to dissolve in there, I'm going to take a big old piece of ginger. Okay, this is a ginger root. Normally for using ginger, we're going to peel it. I'm not even going to bother doing that today because it's clean. I'm going to put it into the simple syrup and let it um, steep in there after, after the um, liquid's cooled. So all I need to do is kind of take the ginger root, cut it into some pieces, and I'm going to be dropping these into the simple syrup. And then after that, what I'm going to do is make a drink. You're going to find it on the sips category of my website. And what it is, it's a mojito. I call it a nojito, nojito, because I don't put alcohol in mine, but you can add rum, uh, vodka, whatever you like to put in yours, but it's lots of mint. I'll show you how to muddle up the mint, lime, some uh, club soda, Pellegrino, whatever kind of sparkling water that you like. And it's super refreshing and a great summer drink. Okay, so in making the, uh, the mint and ginger mojito, I'm going to put in a bunch of mint. I grew this in my herb garden. I'm just going to put it in the bottom of my glass. And then this is called muddling. You just kind of put it in there. You can use a mortar and pestle, but I'm just using the end of my wooden spoon today. And I'm kind of breaking up all that mint. And it smells great. You can smell it already. And it just kind of gets all that mint flavor out of the leaves, okay? Now, some people like them really, really ground up. I don't like that because it gets in my teeth. So I leave them kind of big and whole, but I did kind of macerate them that way so that I got the flavor out. To that mint, I'm gonna just add the ice right on top of it. And I'm going to add fresh lime. So I've got the, the ginger. Now I've melted the sugar and the water. The sugar's all dissolved into the water, so it's just a little simple syrup. I added in the ginger slices and let them steep in there. And now I'm just gonna pour it into a mason jar. You can pour it into anything you want. I'm gonna put it in here, and that way it'll keep in the refrigerator for up to a month. And this is a really, really nice hostess gift. So if you're going somewhere and you don't have something to take um, or trying to come up with a cute idea, a simple syrup is a really nice little hostess gift, right? So I've muddled my mint in the bottom of the glass and I got all this, the minty flavor out. I added a bunch of ice. If you wanna add crushed ice, that's fine. That might be fun. I've just got big ice cubes. I added a bunch of lime juice so it's nice and limey. I'm gonna take my ginger simple syrup and you can do it to taste. It is going to be pretty sweet, so you know, just depending on how much you like. I'm going to add in my sparkling water. Maybe a little bit more lime to make it extra limey and zesty. A little bit more mint. And you're good to go. 